welcome to my channel and another podcast so this is something really different that i had planned and i've been wanting to do for a really long time and a lot of you wanted me to answer a lot of questions of yours so i have selected a few of them and i'm going to be doing this well before i get into that well welcome to hide with shorty and if you're new here hello so this is a tapsy fam where we just talk about art the art struggles that i go through and we all go through as students as an adult and how we can tackle with it i do share my life experiences and all the journey that i have been through so today we're going to be doing a q and a so there was a poll that i had asked on my insta i think a few days ago and i have listed down a bunch of questions that i think would be really insightful for everyone and let's get to it so yes okay cool So this was a very common question that I get a lot is how did I come up with my art style and I'll be really honest uh I didn't really have an art style to call something that's mine for at least before 2 years I developed my art style in 2021 in the start of the year I was just experimenting with normal brushes and trying to do a study of floral series and everything and I just came across the textures brushes where I was just creating my own brushes and yeah I just started playing with different colors and moods and everything and my art style is heavily driven with the feelings and the emotions that I'm going through so you can't really say that I have an art style but it's I'm a very mood and emotion driven artist so I think that's how my art style came into life because it's heavily based on moods and everything the way i choose my colors and what sets me apart in terms of art style is i love playing with a lot of textures i love adding mystical elements also as you can see by my work so yeah that's how i got my art style next uh, how do i manage time being a faculty and a freelancer so this was a really cool question and uh, Honestly, it was really difficult in the beginning of it, but it's all about time management and your priorities. I plan my weeks. It's difficult to plan your week ahead because you never know how it's going to go. And so I usually plan my day ahead, decide key, right? These are the to-do lists that I need to check out today at any cost and of course there are some unknown things that do come into play and but that's just about the priorities and i plan to always take out at least 2 hours for myself so i can build either on my own personal exercises that i keep doing or for my client work so i usually tackle with my freelance work early in the mornings before going to work and late in the night as soon as i come back from work and in the middle of those i try to find some kind of a me time where i can just practice my own art styles and everything but you don't really get that kind of a freedom every day but it is just the kind of consistency that you have to keep building for yourself as a individual because in the midst of everything you'll end up sometimes losing your own voice which you don't want to happen so yeah it's all about time management next uh, we have how do i maintain a work life balance <laughs> i don't um if the closest people know me around me know that i'm heavily invested in my work and i love working and for me to have the work life balance for me it is to keep taking vacations and like i recently did i went to goa i went to thailand and uh, i'm again going on a trip right now for my sister's wedding so i think for me it's like work hard play hard and i love working so i don't really like calling it work because i enjoy what i do thoroughly and for me it's very rare that i feel that i need an escape or a vacation from it yes there are times when i do need vacation from my work also where i am in a creative rut and everything so just to have a change of space and everything yes in those times i do it's really important to have a different kind of a setting and everything and it's all about commitment and consistency like i know on the weekends i want to take out at least saturdays for myself i don't like going out on saturdays or anything sundays is where i like to spend time 
with my friends or going out with them or chilling with them so and as we keep going ahead in life i think it's all about taking time for the loved ones and your priorities so you can't have it all so it's just about choosing who you want to spend your time with and choosing to give your time because as you keep going ahead in life you'll realize the value of time and you really don't want to spend it with people who you do not like or you do not hanging out with so that's why i am very uh, particular about who i want to spend my time with and who i give my time to and i think people around me would know that because that's just how i have always been and that's actually kind of helped me to put that focus in my work as well so yeah uh next we have what do you do as an artist to fuel myself recharge refresh so that you don't burn out like i was saying whenever i do feel burn out or when i'm feeling like i'm getting closer to feeling a little burn out or no new ideas are coming to my mind i earlier used to beat myself about it <laughs> but now i have decided to like stop doing everything i do and and to prevent me feeling burnout i to take certain kind of breaks instead of overworking myself like i have been working on this series of 102 illustrations right now and i'm done with 51 illustrations and so now i have given myself a break for 2 3 days actually entire week now because i'm going to be traveling so the entire week i'm going to be taking off and i'm very excited to come back and rework on them because that excitement because i'm not using all of my energy into finishing that series because i want to enjoy what i'm doing and this is not for someone else or anything this is just for my own floral studies that i've been planning to do and i'm in the middle of it literally in the middle of it and if you might be thinking why 102 because i'm a little ocd when it comes to social media and everything so i like my grids in the number of threes so i didn't want it to be 99s and that's why i wanted to be 102 so it can be a proper three threes so yes call me crazy but yeah us artist brain so yes whenever you feel you're feeling like a f- burnout or anything just take a step back take a break for yourself just take a deep breath just stop what you're doing just cozy up in your bed watch a movie go chill with your friends and don't let that fire burn away because you have to keep fueling it so recharge rest let your mind rest let your hand rest and then start again so yeah that's what i have started to do and i keep evolving with the time and if i come across any something new that i'm trying that helps me i'll definitely let you guys know then what are the sources of my inspiration <laughs> this i get a lot um Honestly 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 recently my biggest inspiration has been the relationships that I have been having around me with my family my friends my partner whatever it is and they have been my biggest inspiration because the motivation i get and more than that it is my passion that drives me to create and to challenge myself right and the right kind of support system that i have around me is I'm truly truly blessed because of that because without them I wouldn't have been able to do the on my bad days and on my good days like that's I think a really big inspiration for me and earlier like last year my inspiration was from my extremely sad and depressed days um which I don't think is a nice thing all the time because I think your happiness should also inspire your good work and recently that is the case for me so i think is just artist phase that i keep going through and there's different inspirations all around me and i get inspired by the most randomest thing if i'm sitting and just having lunch with my friends or my family and i'll just get struck with an idea and i'll be like okay i need to do this and that's why i like to keep myself stimulated by going to different places and travel a lot now that i can fund myself and i am financially stable luckily to do that uh so i try my best to save up every month to go out and travel and explore new places which actually has helped me a lot to stay inspired and try a lot of different mediums as an artist so yeah what are the recommendations of your favorite artists films and books okay so my favorite artist um there are a couple of them i really love pascal champion um i really love van gogh 
like all of you know that <laughs> by now and uh, i am very very bad at names so i am going to try to link the instagram accounts and a few of them there's also an artist called anderson i really like that i love proco also um then there is a bunch of different artists that i follow on my instagram um they are my friends and i really admire their work i'm going to link all of them in my description because i am very bad at names and i really can't remember any right now i'm really sorry about that my movies my all time favorite movie is going to be the harry potter series the holiday i really love the movie the intern because i love the driven passion and the drive she has to build something of her own which i have been wanting and aiming to do which i mean now huge lot of hiccups are happening right now which i'm going to talk about in our next podcast because it's a long sad story and i don't want to mix this right now so yes so in tone is one of my really good favorite movies actually every anne hathaway movie is my favorite movie and recently i also loved persuasion by takota johansson she was in the movie it was amazing i really liked that and dead poet society also is one of my really good movies um goodwill hunting um i really like the old movies and shawshank redemption also is one of my favorite movies i do rewatch them once a year like now as soon as december begins i'm going to start rewatching harry potter series and all the holiday cutesy stuff because yes it's the festival time and lights so i'm excited for that my favorite book um there are very few books that i have reread i have read reread harry potter i have reread uh, summer wives by beatrice and i really enjoy colleen no not colleen like colleen hoover yes colleen hoover i was mixing her with this youtuber that i watch <laughs> sorry um yes so colleen hoover i really love her trilogies and books as well but more importantly if i ever were to reread anything it would be harry potter and recently i read this graphic novel by craig uh, craig thompson and it was just mind blowing it was very emotional if you guys have not read it do check it out if you know graphic novels and real life biography which is beautifully illustrated it is literally i think a thousand page book but it's like a one time read it is that phenomenal that you would not want to stop reading so yeah that's was a really good recent read that i had recently next question which is the last question i decided to speak a few of them this time do you have any art resolutions for new year yes i do have uh, so the series that i'm been doing uh i'm going to be starting to post that in the month of i think jan as soon as i finished the 102 illustrations because that was a challenge to myself that i do not want to put it out unless i'm done with that entire 102 so that's about it and um, i'm also going to be starting to work with something really cool in a mixed media so i don't want to reveal much about it i'm going to do a uh, suspense because yes it's still work in progress i'm excited to announce that venture also of mine which is again going to be launching in the month of jan itself and there is going to be a fun thing that's going to happen for my birthday month also if you guys don't know well stay tuned for it so there's a new launch i'm going to be doing during my birthday as well so there's not much of a resolution as such but yes i just want to explore and expand and educate a lot more people with the art that i'm doing and help them out and reach at a good platform on youtube where i can reach out to a lot of audience and yeah that's the goal for now and nothing much but i'm just in a very holiday mood so i'm keeping it chill and i'm just very excited for the days coming ahead and i hope you guys like the q and a today and if you would like to know something more about me or my art or anything do list it down and you can always email me like a lot of you email me and ask me which i really love thank you for that and it means a lot i am so happy to see that tapsy community is going to be reaching 3000 soon slow growth which is the perfect for me because not too overwhelming and i'm very happy and grateful for each one of you so thank you for being a part of this journey and it means a lot have a great week ahead and 
I'm gonna see you guys very very soon. Take care. Bye guys. Thank you.